Here's a closer look at the new Sony PRS600 Touch Edition. As you can see, it's just a little bit smaller than a standard DVD case. It's quite a bit thinner. On top, we've got SD card slot, Pro Duo card slot. It's also the uh, stylus here, which we'll get back to in a little bit. And the power slide turns it on and off. Turns on very quick. On the bottom, we've got AC adapter. USB port, headphone jack, and the volume for the headphone. Now let's show you the home page. You got you can continue reading, got your ebooks, you can customize your collection, you can add notes, memos, handwriting. There are more settings over here for adding your MP3 files, pictures, and more settings for date and time, slideshow language, that type of thing. Let's go take a look at an ebook. So you can come down here, change the various different text sizes. You can also customize it with a zoom feature, which we'll get into more with a PF. Let's go with medium, so it's a little bit bigger. You can see on here. You can turn the page just by going a little bit hold down, flip the pages very fast, you can also use the stylus up here to add notes, other features, take a look at the options menu here, you can also turn the pages manually if you'd rather use the buttons down here. So in the options menu we have go to page options, you can check your history of your recent pages, you can search for a word, you can obviously add your notes, and down here we have you can get the ebook info. Change the orientation. Which I'll show you more with the PDF. So if you want to add notes, you come here, hit the note feature. On the top here, you have highlight. And here you can annotate directly on the screen with the option. Here's the erase feature. Right here's just a bookmark if you want to bookmark the page for later. So let's add a note. Come right there. Right on. And this will automatically save when you exit. And once you go back to your home page, under that notes tab, it's right there. You can go back at any time. Like so. If you want to edit it, delete it, bring up the menu screen again, hit notes up here to your little erase button, kind of go over it, just a bit, like so, this little piece right there, it's gone, and we'll exit out of here. As you'll notice, there's a little bit of glare on that screen, not nearly as bad as the PRS 700, in fact, it actually looks really well in bright light, you just, uh, when you're reading, you slightly tilt it like that, and you don't notice the glare at all. One thing you will notice is when you're reading it in dim light, compared to the PRS 505, the text isn't as dark, so you need to have a good lighting condition to get the best out of it. So let's go over here and check out the PDFs. A lot of people have questions about how the PDFs display on these PRS 600. So you can just scan down the menu here. Got one up here. So as you can see, when PDFs are displayed, it displays the whole page. So the text is very, very small. Now you can come in here and change the text size, just like with the other books. But when you do that, you typically will lose the images and graphs because it cannot reflow those bigger images. But you can come here, zoom in, this feature right here, using your hand to the stylus, zoom it into where you like, and then you can hold down and move the page wherever you'd like. Let's exit out of here. You can also go in, change the orientation to view it in the other mode. It increases the font, so the text size a little bit, a little more readable. One other thing you can do is you can experiment with conversion software. 
we have a couple options over on the website, so go read that up. Here's the same, the same P. Oh, we need to go back and change the orientation back. So here's that same grat, or that same PDF revision. I reformatted into a different uh, format here, so it preserves the uh, graph size and also increases the text size. Now it varies from different formats, and you can try experimenting with some different options, see if it'll display better. We can go back to the home page menu here, and we got a couple of options. Showed you the notes. You got your text memos. You can come in here, use the onboard keyboard. It's a slight lag, but it keeps up. And then fix it out of here. Back to the home. Save your memos automatically. You can do the handwriting feature right there. Looks like we're running uh, long on time already, so if you want to know more, check out the ebookreader.com. We got a detailed review over there and all the other inf information you're going to need. So check us out. Thanks.